Africa, a majestic continent filled with unspoiled beauty and mystical silence. A prehistoric continent thought to be the cradle of mankind and yet still seemingly untouched by human hand. For it is in Africa that the animals still carry within them the ancient mysteries of a forgotten age as they roam free upon an untouched world still at the dawn of time. Think of Africa and you think of its elephants, its lions, buffaloes, sable antelope, kudu and nyala. Think too of its ancient peoples like the San Bushmen who still live within a culture and tradition the world has long since left behind. For the San Bushmen keep within them that profound spiritual connection with the animals they hunt. Indeed, it is only in Africa that the hunter can truly find himself at one with the animal he hunts. Surely, it is only in Africa that the hunter's blood and his trophy's blood will together feed the tree of heaven. But Africa is changing, inevitably. Its wilderness areas have shrunk and its wild animals are mostly kept in game reserves now. And hunting is strictly controlled. Yet it is still possible to experience big game hunting in Africa, to experience the heart-stopping thrill of coming face to face with a lion, a rhinoceros, a magnificent kudu, and many other exquisitely beautiful animals. Still possible to experience the unforgettable moment as you claim that beast as your trophy. Mabula Pro Safaris caters for both rifle and bow hunters and has certain areas set aside exclusively for bow hunting. Mabula Pro Safaris has at its disposal a number of vehicles specially fitted for hunting expeditions, highly skilled trackers with many years experience and a number of hunting dogs. Furthermore, for those hunters who prefer being as close to nature as possible, there is also a bush camp, which is rather more primitive than the lodge, but is fully equipped. Here you will experience the full romance of life deep in the wild. There is no question but that hunting in South Africa has a vital role to play in areas such as conservation, ecology, and of course, economics. However, recognizing that the value of big game and plains game hunting goes some way beyond mere money, Christo Gomes of Mabula Pro Safaris converted his large domestic cattle ranches into game ranches, thereby making a substantial contribution to conserving and utilizing Africa's rich variety of wild game species. And so, where once there was no game, now there is only game. Mabula Pro Safaris is a family-run outfit. Christo and his wife Stella work as a team to ensure that your African safari will be all that you had hoped and dreamed it would be. Inasmuch as Christo is a dedicated hunter, he is also a totally dedicated host. And your individual needs and wishes are given infinite personal attention by Christo and Stella. All details of your safari are taken care of, including the dipping, packing and shipment of your trophies. All you need to do is to relax and enjoy the experience of a lifetime.
still singing. Magic machine cannot match human being, human being. African ideas, African ideas, make the future clear, make the future clear. They are the scatterings of Africa. Each uprooted one. They're on the road to Belabanga, where the world began. And for the scatterings of Africa, the journey has begun. I always feel better when I get up there and uh, can rub up against him. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. While Christo Gomes is a dedicated and skilled hunter, he has an abiding love of nature and all its wild creatures. Christo is living proof of the fact that hunters today are amongst the world's best <laughs> conservationists. For he has enormous respect for the environment and is deeply committed to wildlife and habitat conservation, ethical hunting traditions and practices as an affirmation of the ecology and hunting safety. That's a lot of fun. Congratulations. That's a very Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I can hold it together until it's over with and then I'll fall apart. <laughs> they use it. No, that's not great. You know, when I develop this, yep. it's going to look like he's part yep. of the fireplace. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. yeah. I'll turn around so I can see your face. Thank you very much. Yeah, he still looks like he's part of the fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> you have to shoot now. <laughs> he's going to run. <laughs> She loves it that she could only speak French. Good French bread. Yeah. 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 And welcome our guests from Dallas, Texas. Fred and Sandy, Paul and Katie. Welcome to Mabula Pro Safaris. This will be your second safari with us. It hope, we hope it will be just as good, if not better, than the first. Um, we're hunting in the we're hunting in the Limpopo province in South Africa. A great part of the safari will be conducted on my own private game reserves as well as on concession areas. We're also 
going to hunt Fred, Sandy and myself in the Hoodsprite area next to the Kruger National Park. We we're going to look for Fred for a big buffalo bull. I hope it will be a nice trophy bull, Fred. We're also planning a safari to the Kalahari, where Paul and Katie is going to hunt the Gemspark, black wildebeest. And also where Fred would like to hunt his lion. We're going to end our safari with a trip to the world famous Okavango Delta in Botswana. Last but not least, we would welcome, we would like to congratulate our newlywed couple, <laughs> Fred and Sandy. At last they decide to tie the knot. <laughs> we hope this safari will be like a, another animal for you. Thank you. Yes, good friends Cheers. and a great safari. Looking forward to it. Mabula Pro Safaris can and will transport you to an untamed Africa at its most profound. For the true hunter, the kill is simply the logical and fitting end to an adventure in which he pits his skills against that of the animal. The true hunter doesn't simply want to kill beautiful animals. His is a spiritual quest as much a search for self-knowledge as it is a search for a trophy. Go. Okay. Shooting between the front, front to, to in the, the, in the, the, in the Between the two legs? Yeah, between the two legs, the feedback. A in foot back. Foot back, in the heart. Okay. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you a bit, about five minutes. <laughs> we got a 41 inch just a little bit more. You can say 41. 41? Yeah. Good ball. Very good ball. Really nice really pass nice. this Fred. Mm -hmm. The nice deep curve coming back, a little sweep at the back here, and you can see this horn here is definitely the working horn. Sometimes you'll find the bus will completely cover. There mm. will be nothing, no flesh in between. Hmm. On this specific bull you could see there's still a little bit of hair, but it's not like if he's a young bull, it's a very old bull. Mm -hmm. Some of them will just never close here. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is a really nice trophy. Good solid buses on him. Yeah. Big old mature male. Thick neck. Thick neck. Oh, oh, a lot of like muscle in it. Yeah. God dang, I wonder. <laughs> God. Be like one, two, three, right. Okay, one, two, three, right. One, two, three, right. Well, once again, thank Fred. Congratulations. Thank you. For this outstanding, nice, beautiful buffalo bull. Well. We were looking for something with really nice buses and a nice spread. The bull is measuring 41 inches. He made an excellent shot on this bull. He's using a 375 300 gain Remington bullets. Mm -hmm. Right through the heart, the bull must have run 30 yards. 30 yards, 20 yeah. yards, something like that. Not very far. Not far at all. And we gave him two insurance shots and you got the excellent trophy up here. Uh -huh. We saw quite a few bulls this afternoon. Right. That first two bulls, we had the opportunity to look at them, discuss whatever we're looking for. We saw quite a few other bulls at that one water hole, and we decided to take this old dugger boy. Yeah. You know. so well, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Really enjoyed it, Christo. Thank you. More again. than welcome. Thank yeah. you for hunting with us. Fred. You bet. Thank you. you bet. Yeah, well, the bullets. Yeah, but you should have been like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's possible. That's Fred shot right through the center of the heart. That's why your bull only went like 30 yards, and he dropped dead. Dropped dead. Yeah.
Wait, wait, wait. Shoot again. Shit, that's a big sumbitch. <laughs> that's beautiful. Out of the Russian. That's a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a lot of walking and tracking. Yeah, I like that. But I think that track. was the last, that was the last place you were. Yeah, I know, but I still up. like that walking and that <laughs> tracking. I don't mind doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, after two hours, at at least an hour and a half uh, after we saw him the first time tracking, right. we found the old male laying underneath this thick brush here and Fred, he made a good shot. It was hard to spot him the first time. Right. And eventually he turned and you could see him. He was much larger than I imagined him to be. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. He spine him shot a really nice shot. Neck, neck shot and your second shot was right on the, the shoulder. shoulder. It's a beautiful Tolari man. Right. <laughs> and not often see males like this it's, still around. Yeah, so. it's beautiful. Long thank mane. you, thank you so very much. He's gonna look beautiful mounted. No, I believe so. Beautiful Good. trophy. Good luck. Uh -huh. and, uh, thank you again. Thank you very much. More than welcome. Thank you all. The trophy animals available at Mabula Pro Safaris are only old, solitary, mature males which means that the harvesting of these trophies does not adversely affect the breeding population. How old do you think that animal is? This bull is at least eight years old. No. No, they no. just never no. have a Only oh. if the bottom jaw got okay. teeth on. And you can see oh. it's a really old bull. Uh -huh. Old, mature. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to congratulate Sandy Mish from Arlington, Texas. It's the second African safari with us. Mm -hmm. Sandy, you took a really nice trophy. It's a big bull. Mm -hmm. You're using a 300 Winchester, mm -hmm. 165 grain. 185 grain in it? I think it's oh, 165. Okay. <laughs> and you make an excellent shot. Thank you. And it's a beautiful trophy. I hope you'll have a lot of joy when you look at it in your trophy. Well, thank you for putting me on this beautiful animal. Congratulations, Sam. <laughs> So that's why I would say, take your time, once it's clear, the process is right at the right position. Take your breathing like say one, two, three times, hold up and shoot. Wildlife and game management makes many demands on the owner of a game ranch. One of the primary objectives of the rancher is to build his stock through judicious breeding, constantly improving genetic selection and bloodlines, buying new stock and therefore new gene pools, building databases and keeping a close watch on sustainability and other ecological factors. On the shoulder. I want to measure it quickly. Uh. 35. <laughs> All right. Gold medal. Okay, buddy. There we go. I'm going to wipe a little blood off. 
water on the track. The Here's your project. Yeah. It goes this bugger doesn't go down here. Well, I like him right where he sits. Alright, I just want to say donkey to everybody here for all of your hard work for two days. I'm just, I'm very, very happy to have my eland. It's one of the animals I came to South Africa this time to try to harvest, so thank you. It means a lot to me. Congratulations, Katie, with this beautiful trophy eland bull. We were looking for this bull for two days. He was running in a herd with another three bulls. We especially looked for this one with this bleak, the black tuff in front. Well, today at 10 o'clock, he presented itself. Katie made an excellent shot. We killed right in the road, so he won't battle loading it. <laughs> I hope Katie will be very happy with this trophy and it'll bring you a lot of joy when you look at it in your trophy room. Thank you, Christo. I'm, I'm, I'm really thrilled and I really appreciate everything y'all have done for me for two days to get this beautiful animal. So thank you very much. That's a big pleasure. Thank you for hunting with us. You bet. Here he comes, you see him. Yeah. He's already lost some teeth back here at the back. This is for Roland the Wall. And uh -huh. it looks like, if I look at the bull, yeah. he'll measure it easy. Fantastic. Between 27 and 28 inches at least. Fantastic. Small? I didn't know this shooting was such Hello. hard work, did you, Katie? Right. <laughs> now that's that better. looks like a huntress woman. Once again, mm -hmm. Katie, congratulations. Thank you. With this outstanding Yala bull. We saw him earlier. It was 100 yards away from the truck. We climbed off. We made an excellent stalk. One shot kill. And it's a beautiful Yala bull. Roughly, it will measure 28 inches. Fantastic. That's a Roland Award trophy. You can be proud of this one. And I hope it will bring you just as much joy as that big Helen Bull you took this morning. Don't you know it? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you, Christo. I appreciate it. You're more than welcome. When I uh, when I first leaned up against this tree, I looked at my watch. It was nine o'clock straight up, yes. and it's nine thirty-eight now. So we stood here for about thirty-five minutes. Yeah, thirty-five to forty minutes. Yeah. yeah. This is a this is a very good thing right here. Yes. God, yeah, this one's got very pronounced tones. Uh huh. Oh, thank you, Lord. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is that just now? I'll tell you. Make sure, that's I love the curl on that. I love the curl on that. And it's an old bull. You can yeah. see the, the tips. Mm -hmm. He's not the straight one. up yet. He'll go a little bit, but you can and see And this curl is different than that one. That one. Yeah. Yes. I love it. Character yes. deluxe. Mm -hmm. Maybe we take between. What's the key? Oh, you're kidding. You're not there? No, we have to do this. Hey, Katie. Yeah, come over and look at this from this perspective. I'm just now noticing more things about the character of this bull. Looky here. Um, just sitting here, uh, looking over the horns, you get a different perspective from it. And uh, it's just uh, interesting character about these horns down here on the bases. He's got, uh, I would guess, age, or like Bruce said, uh, experience. And uh, it just uh, adds to the character of the bull. We're hunting out of Mabula Pro Safaris in the Limpopo province. And I'd very much like to congratulate Paul on a magnificent kudu taking on a very difficult stalk and a long wait. Congratulations, thank, Paul. Thank you very much. This was a uh, stock and uh, a hunt of a lifetime. In this way, he is breeding better animals and improving the quality of the game available to hunters coming from all over the world in search of the ultimate trophy. At the same time, however, 
he needs to be aware that quantity and quality need to be kept in balance, for it is that very scarcity of the finest animals that makes the hunt for the perfect animal so alluring, so tantalizing, and so challenging. The hours and days spent searching for, tracking and hunting the elusive animal before the final moment of the kill need to be fueled by the knowledge that such an animal is rare indeed. Do you think this one is? Because she's still got teeth. Yeah, all of them still have teeth. Teeth only. This one is about, uh, about five years. Yeah. Seems to me they shot at black Valibius as well. Oh, really? Sounds like it. You know, the other one that was out there with mm -hmm. the real, the, the real wonky? Yes. Was that as good as that? It was shorter than this I one. I thought it looked a little yeah, shorter. We're hunting with Mabula Pro Safaris out of the Limpopo province. Today we were hunting in the Kalahari for Gemsbak and I'd like to congratulate Katie on a very nice Gemsbak she took. Peculiar shaped horns but a very nice one shot kill. Congratulations Katie. It was a pleasure to be with you today and I hope we can do it again. Thank you. My pleasure. White from the back, shoot him. We got him. No, Rocky. Wait, Rocky. Yeah, Rocky. the whole animal on I a little know. bitty animal yeah so you don't know really where it's going to go <laughs> i know <laughs> that is so you just cover the animal and pull the trigger that was over 200 yards shot that Safaris out of the Limpopo province and I'd like to congratulate Katie on an excellent war talk she took late afternoon great shot and a very nice talk. Katie it was a pleasure hunting with you thank you very much. Thank you Dennis I've really enjoyed hunting with you you've been a great PH this has been a, uh, a great week and a half and uh, I almost hate to see it come to an end. I'm glad thank you enjoyed you. it. I really have it's been great thanks. Thank you very much. That's him. Yeah, shoot him. Well, that's just an excellent, excellent this trophy. Is Look at how hard this boss is. Hey, really? Yeah. Normally, this is soft. Normally, 
So we're taking down, we'll take some nice pictures down there. We're hunting with Mabula Pro Safaris in the Limpopo province. This trophy today, was it's a very exceptional trophy. We were actually looking for a good kudu bull this morning and we saw a couple of bulls. Right. And then we ran into this mountain reed buck. It's beautiful. Uh, this is a real beaut. It's one of the best mountain reed buck I've seen in a long time. In about five years, I'd say. Golly. It's way up in the record books. And how, beautiful. How, ta how, how long do you think they are? They're at least eight and a half inches. Eight and a half inches. Yeah. That's and a beautiful animal. It's an old animal. The bases are hard. Yeah. So it's a real beaut you've got here. Well, thank you so very much for putting me Fred. on this animal. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Yeah. Very nice hunting with you. Thank you. Mabula Pro Safaris is the brainchild of Christo Gomes, whose love of hunting he inherited from his father, Henry. Christo shot his first kudu when he was eight years old, and now, 30 years later, he runs a highly successful hunting outfit with a fine hunting success rate, excellent trophy quality, and many satisfied clients. Proof of their satisfaction is that 70% of Mabula Pro Safari's clients have returned here, some as many as four times over. The trophy animals available at Mabula Pro Safaris are only old, solitary, mature males, which means that the harvesting of these trophies does not adversely affect the breeding population. There are 24 different species of animals available, including buffalo, sable antelope, and white rhino while 150,000 acres of concession areas throughout South Africa bring the total species of animals available to 45, including elephants, hippos, lions and leopards. Needless to say, the trophy animals are of excellent quality. www dot mabula pro safaris dot co dot za still possible to experience the unforgettable moment as you claim that beast as your trophy <laughs>